Chris Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, February 21st. So the moon is moving out of Libra and energy and will be diving into the deep, dark, shadowy waters of Scorpio. So anytime we move out of the light and fluffy shallow end of peace and harmony and light and fluffy things of Libra and energy and dive into the depths of Scorpio, we definitely feel the shift. This is when there is a deep transformation taking place in our heart space, in our head space. And the Scorpio energy, especially now that we are in Piscean energy, is water on water. So we definitely can expect a lot of emotions, a lot of aha moments. Our intuition is strong. We are diving deep into our psyche, into our heart space in order to piece together why it is that certain things had to happen. And of course, give us an opportunity to turn that pain into power. So we will be locking into that Scorpio energy around 420 a.m. Again, Eastern Standard Time. We have nine different aspects taking place here today. Eight of them involve the moon. This is the last day, the last full day before the 222222 portal ends. We've had some huge energy blasts, some huge cosmic radiation coming in from the cosmos. And it is likely that the intensity is going to be felt as we wrap up this particular chapter. So we have the moon squaring Pluto. This is before uh, we lock into Scorpio energy. So the moon is still in Libra. It's a good thing because uh, Pluto rules over the Scorpio moon. So Libra and energy is trying to balance things once again, really trying to show us where it is that we've been living in extremes in our heart space, where it is we've been divided between our heart and our head. And squaring with Pluto is giving us an opportunity to kind of rethink things, rethink where it is that we've been living in the dark side trying to get to the light, where it is that we've been living in our painful past, our painful memories, trying to make a change. This particular energy, although very conflicting, is going to provide us with a tension point where we get to make a choice, where there's a new realization, a new perspective that actually emerges. Our intuition is very strong. We are in Pisces season and the moon in Libra is going to bump into Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, in a very, very beautiful way, especially after the squeeze of bumping into Pluto, kind of illuminating the darkness and what it is that we need to destroy within us in order to find stable ground, in order to find peace within us. The moon bumping into Neptune is going to give us a whole lot of warm and fuzzy feelings. Why? Because our intuition is strong. We are elevating our mental plane to our highest self. We are blending our ego self with our higher self. And we are starting to dream a better vision, a better reality of what it is that we actually want for ourselves. The moon then moves into Scorpio and sits in Scorpio energy to get its bearings before trining the sun. This is a beautiful energy because of course the moon in Scorpio, the sun in Pisces, this is water. This is fluidity. This is dreams. This is intuition. This is emotions. And right now, the moon, very representative of our unconscious emotions, our past emotions, our past selves, trining with the sun who's illuminating for us where it is that we want to be, where it is we have to exert our time, energy, and attention into building a new dream, building a new vision, building a new reality. This is definitely a harmonious aspect where we are going to see the deep seated transformation taking place within because of course it has to happen within before it can happen in our external realms. Mercury is the only aspect taking place today that does not involve the moon. Mercury, of course, ruler of the mental plane in Aquarian energy, really pushing us outside of our comfort zones, pushing the boundaries of our thoughts, of our ideas, of our inspiration, making a semi-square, not the most pleasant aspect, with Neptune. In Pisces, this particular energy is going to kind of put us at odds with our thoughts. Now, here's the thing. Mercury rules over the lower level intellect, but in Aquarian energy is taking these new ideas, these new downloads, this new vision, this new dream and goal, and trying to bring it in from the higher realms and make sense of it in the lower intellect. That's where we get to actually apply logic and practicality and a plan in order to actually bring it to life. 
But semi-squaring Neptune, Neptune is very dreamy, very creative. This is our higher self. This is our intuition. And right now we're at a little bit of a conflict because we don't know how to bring in some of the dreams, some of the creative aspects of the creative ideas into our physical realms. So we might actually be a little bit cluster effed in trying to even get our thoughts straight. And we're definitely going to have a problem trying to express ourselves and actually put into words some of the emotions, some of the thoughts, some of the intuitive ideas that we're currently getting. The moon is going to make a little bit of a tension point with Neptune as well. This particular aspect is really trying to force our hand in what needs to kind of change within us. So, you know, the moon in Scorpio is a fixed sign. It really doesn't want to change. And we are recognizing that a change is a must if we want a new version of ourselves, of our reality, if we want you know, uh, a different outcome, we have to change. And that change needs to start in our psyche first, that Scorpio energy is really kind of fixated on what made us this way, where are the blockages in our psyche, what is preventing our heart space from aligning with our head, because until those two agree, we're not going to see any changes in our physical realm. The moon kind of continues to add a little bit of pressure in our mental plane to get our heart and our head on the same page to do the deep dive into the analytical part of kind of sorting through our thoughts and emotions by squaring Mercury. So this is a little bit of a tension point, And let me tell you, we're kind of feeling overwhelmed. We're feeling a little bit of the not so nice thoughts and feelings come up. And if we're not careful, we're actually going to kind of slip up and create a little bit of drama and maybe, you know, open a line of communication that gets a little bit messy, a little bit confrontational. Uh, the moon and Scorpio ruling over our emotions and our unconscious self uh, going head to head and creating a tension point with our mental plane, our logical, analytical, practical mental plane who just wants to come up with solutions in order to break free from these issues, from these problems, because of course, we're in Aquarian energy. We are having a tough time really aligning our thoughts and our feelings, aligning our future vision with what it is that we can actually do in the here and now to make a difference. Now, the moon goes ahead and makes a very positive aspect with both Venus and Mars. And as you know, Venus and Mars are traveling together. Um, they are in conjunction with one another. The moon in Scorpio actually has a lot of power here, especially where Mars is concerned, because Mars is a co-ruler over Scorpio energy. And this is going to help us get a little bit clearer on what it is that we want, need and desire emotionally, where it is that we need to heal certain relationship dynamics that have gotten a little bit far apart or fallen off. And Mars is the aggressive energy that we need to actually take action in our physical realm to emotionally express ourselves, to advance ourselves in the path of alignment to go after what it is that we want. So I actually see that this is like a positive that comes out of some of the confusion and some of the unaligning thoughts and feelings that we had earlier on in the day. And of course, we get an opportunity to walk the walk and talk the talk when the moon bumps into Chiron, the wounded healer planetoid that gives us an opportunity because of an outside trigger, an external activational trigger, likely in our personal relationships, whether or not we are going to fall victim to the same old, same old reaction from the ego or whether or not we see this as an opportunity to choose differently to choose to act as the observer, to choose to speak in a different way, to choose to handle the situation in a different way in order to provide ourselves with a different outcome. <laughs>